Hello again everyone, and we're back to excommunicate some aliens. Dunna, build that wall. Yes indeed. Gabriel had his pretty turn. well figured out right now. And here's a little uh, digest of all the saves I had since the last time we played. Creamy afternoon, <laughs> lumpy thrust. I like creamy afternoon. I like I liked interesting jam. I like the ones that aren't yeah, immediately like, sexual. Yeah, as I've, I've always been a real big fan of these, so that's why I love the rise of moist being a word that makes people uncomfortable. Yeah. Because it isn't. Especially when you say it. Yeah. Case in point, Operation Dribbling Panties. That's grotesque, like that is... So we're getting back into Operation Dribbling Panties now. Let's get our face all up in those dribbling panties. Let's catch up with. Someone asked me where the file was for editing mission... Like names, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It's not in the same folder as the one with like this, all the soldier names and nicknames. So if you found that, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> well, at least that's a start. You have that's... to do a little subfolder explorer. I think it's in a folder called localization, and then a subfolder of that. But the file you're looking for is called XCOM Strategy Game. No spaces. Google would ha there'd have to be a YouTube fucking clip explaining exactly how to do this. Uh, presumably. I mean, I, you know, Yahtzee is not Google. You know, you can if you have a question, you could probably ask Google. Um, yes, so this this is my mission, and we've got a special job this time, if you'll recall. Cry if I want to. We have to take at least one alien alive. Oh yeah, that's right, we're ghost busting. So that <sighs> that's means... wonderful. Busting makes me feel good. So that means I'm on point, I'm afraid. Yeah. You have to get me close enough to use the arc thrower. Alright, so, right, so where's should the... we have you on point then? Like, should we... I mean, how many aliens... What? Just tag them through him. Um, Listen, if anyone's got the, if the sniper's got the battlefield scanner yet, because I mean maybe we should kill everybody, and then leave one left and just try and like swarm them. Because I think if you've well, got the arc and we put you up front, we could lose you. Well, that's an easier issue. said than done. Dude. You, don't, yeah, you, don't, I, you don't know if you've killed everyone until you kill the last one. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. You don't uh, know how many a, a, you don't know how many up. aliens there are until you've killed them all. How does it work with capturing them? Like, do you have to then get to a drop, you have or do you just no, shoot them and that's it? No, I mean, in the original XCOM, you had to carry the corpses home in your backpack. <laughs> but in this, you just have to knock one out, and then their bodies are recovered, along with all the others. Oh, so it's we just get into a combat situation, and you get an arc throw a shot on somebody, and then that's... Yeah. Right. Oh, so you have to get pretty close, though. That's Well, yeah, I'm not, you know, it's not going to be a cakewalk for the tea park, but that, but that part of it was... I, I, I thought we were going to have to... Fucking zap someone, pick them up, and carry them around. And it would help if we knew what direction the spaceship was in. Um, if we see something burning and destroyed, <coughs> chances are good to head towards there. Yeah, because this is a UFO crash one, isn't it? Yes. yes. We shot it down because we're so great. Right. I thought about baddest of asses. I thought about um, changing the names of all the possible soldier names and soldier nicknames into something stupid, but I figure you can do that in game if it's that important to you. Yeah. Uh, that would be getting on a little bit of overkill. Yeah, I think it's funnier if it's just one thing that's yeah. kind of stupid. Well, it's the you know it's the juxtaposition thing again. You can't just if it's all wacky, it just uh -huh. Uh -huh. becomes dull. So I guess we'll veer, we'll we'll curve around in this direction. Let's just overwatch everyone because the aliens still patrol. I think. Yeah, I was thinking of um, if it's just if it's funny if it's just one thing. I was always think that was the characteristic of the Peter Serafinovich show. I think he's very good. I never saw enough of that. Well, it, it's I think I've only ever seen like cl clips on YouTube or something. It's pretty good stuff. But I think I look it up. one of his uh, one of the characteristics of his humor is that he creates funny situations by creating a vaguely normal situation and then just introducing one thing that's a little bit weird. And that somehow makes the whole thing weird really? and funny. Yeah, see, I think, because he... Wasn't he one of the writers of Big Train as well? Or didn't he, I didn't did he work know. on Big Train? Well, Big Train had an element of that where they do something completely fucking dry. Like, the workplace bullying thing was done completely fucking normally, completely dry, delivered completely normally, except the bully was Satan and the person complaining was Jesus. Yeah. And they had another one where it's like two friend, two people from different groups of friends not getting along and it ending in a fight. Except one of them is dressed in a big dog yeah. costume and one of them is dressed as a cat. Yeah, that was characteristic of Big Train, certainly. Well, yeah, I don't know, Peter, Peter Serafinovich the... has always been part of the whole Simon Pegg Edgar Wright clique. Yeah, well, he, was, he was in hippies and stuff. And... But the example from the Peter Serafinovich show that, uh, that really stood out to me was uh, he does a sort of spoof uh, public information film for young men uh, wanting to uh, propose marriage. 
And the suggested advice in the public information film has all got this sort of like soft music going over it. And so there's a lot of very nice 60s, 70s sort of soft uh, mm. look to it. And everyone's like wearing nice mundane sort of uh, earth tones clothing. Yeah. Uh, and the narrator goes, and all you have to do is get down on one knee and say those magic words. If you don't marry me, I'll kill myself. <laughs> I just, yeah. I mean... It was just a little shift. Yeah. I mean, that's the sort of thing that, you know, it's on the borderline of romantic and creepy, and it just shifted slightly into creepy, but it was just a very small shift. I don't know. I'd say, like, if you don't marry me, I'll kill myself. It was in full creepy territory. Uh, uh, There's another thing he did called Eyes Closed News. Or is, <laughs> they just presented, tell me it's just him. Well, they presented a news show, but the only, like, weird thing is that all the news anchors are reporting with their eyes closed that's amazing the, yeah the, that, the second speaking. you said that I was like I, I know what this is and it's already making me giggle <laughs> did you ever watch Naked News the first episode I watched of that for like tits and whatnot, but then it was actually a really good news program so you ended up sort of sticking with it for that I'm presuming that's not the thing I'm thinking of there was a really dodgy cable channel in the UK I forget the name and they used to do um when they did the business news, they'd have the presenter strip while they were doing it. Okay, no. This was literally naked chicks reading the news. Okay. Like, fully naked. And at yeah, first, you, you, you tune not... in for the dumb fuck novelty of, like, boobs and news. But then after, like, two or three episodes, I actually realized they were doing, like, really... Like, better than fucking, you know, Channel 7 Network news quality fucking actual reporting. And I was like, huh. It's not really a sexual context. No, well, I mean, I mean that, that's... I wouldn't really... I would get much titillation from something like well, that. Well, yeah, I, that's, that's the weird thing about titillation in the modern day, is, like, I don't have to tune into a novelty show to see tits, you know? Like... Well, I guess not. This, you know, I have tits on my phone. I have, like, all the tits in the world. Tits, like, they're, yes. they're, they're priced out of the market now. We like, are the it's... gods of tits and wine. Yeah. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Yeah, was th this started with me up the front, but I guess I don't have enough movement squares, and suddenly everyone's in front of me now. <laughs> yeah. mm. Do we get any better idea of where it is? Ah ha 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 ha! There's the smoke, and there's, there's the weird walls. That away. So I was right to follow the fires. So Obviously, we all the aliens will be in a treehouse so over on the left. Yes, we should be seeing something sooner or later. Oh. Here's something. They're usually spread out from the saucer, but I guess not today. Yeah, what well, was the last one? They got all bunched up in the top left corner away from the actual fucking ship. I'm just Seems gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna sprint into that high cover there, so we can open up a bit more. No, nope, still nothing. How infuriating. Is, that, is this our first UFO... Assault. No, 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 it isn't, no, is it? No, we, yeah, we, you're, that's what I'm talking about. Like, we did that weird one where we went up to the UFO and we couldn't find fucking anybody. And yeah. they'd all gone for a shit or something and they were all off over on the left. Yeah. Funny, that. Is it completely random or are there, like... There has to be some sort of, you know, algorithm to explain whether things show up and it couldn't be completely random. Well, I guess they, they got random starting positions around near the Flying Zorza and all the yeah, time so. we're not seeing them, they're all wandering about. It's going walkies. Kebe! He's in Gomba! Kebe! I said that in a very racist way. I don't think it was racist to attempt the pronunciation. I was probably appropriating in some way. <laughs> okay, they're all still in their bedrooms, so still wearing their names. alien gym jams. That could work in our favour. Because when we need to arc throw someone, if they're all out in the open, it's hard to close the distance, but if they're in close quarters inside a spaceship, it becomes easier. Because they're close. Yes, that's what the word means. Ah. Apparently. Yes, the word quarters. Oh, yeah, that whole wall's open, so we want to approach carefully. Now sneak up. Get some nice full cover there. We're gonna, we're gonna take one of you home. Well, we gonna hug him and pet him and name him George. Well, we got close enough that their porch light turned on. Oh, that was just mosquitoes. Bzzd. 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 So, I've been reading up on that whole Panama Papers bullshit. Ah, uh, yeah. Have you heard about that? Um, yeah. yeah. Well, a large 
quad wadge of all the world's leaders have been implicated in a massive tax dodge. Yeah. Who'd have fucking thunk yeah, it? Yeah, who'd have thought? David Cameron as well, who'd have thought? Yeah. I was I was reading up on that. It's it's really instructive how weaselly that guy can be sometimes. Like someone said, um, can you confirm that you have never benefited from your shares in the whatever it was called? Investment yeah. trust in the past, present, or future. Secret illegal account in the past, present, or future. And Cameron said, "I can confirm I do not presently benefit from that account." And I said, "Well, that's peachy and everything, but the question was past, present, and future." And then, like maybe like, a few days later, they managed to leave a uh, not the future either out of him, which still left the past. <laughs> I do. It is. And so they, I actually really appreciate good political squirm because in Australia you get like just comically bad political squirm. Well, squirmers are the whole reason we need legalese. Yeah, well, I mean, like you know, when there's that great footage of Abbott where he just got hit with like some hard questioning and just went quiet oh. in front of an interviewer. Oh bullshit! They're all the way over there. See, this. Is... <sighs> well, they probably Ski won't dudes be. All look like Fang from Street Fighter. They probably won't be the only ones. We can head straight for the ship, or we can. Well, there's plenty of cover leading up to that area. I suppose we could try, like, making an approach on those lads, who are the ones we know about. Doesn't there. the stage finish off over to the right near the ship, though? Like, wouldn't it be more prudent to not have things coming from behind? Yeah. Like, if we go running off after them, we're going to have the ship to the right, and then we, you know... Known... Yeah, but the ones we've seen will now come after us. The ones we haven't seen in the ship will not be directly coming after us. Oh, so it doesn't activate all of them if only, like, two of them No, so only yeah. the ones who've seen us, their group now uh, moves towards us. If we haven't seen them, they remain on their own little path. They could still, like, coincidentally veer around to us. But I think our best approach would be to veer around and try to ambush those lads using this very decent cover here. That is a very covery area. Come on, me. That looks like a Kane and Lynch stage design. Hmm. Should we uh, try to kill one of them? to give us a clear run to the other, or leave them both around to leave them with a false sense of security. Kill one. So they don't run away. You don't want to be trying to catch one while, like, their friend's trying to save them, you know, that's... Okay. I made, you know, Dash learn up. that trying to abduct girls. Dash up to the full cover, me. See, I'm taking a nap on this one, aren't I? Yeah, because we only need one support. <sighs> and we're both support. I don't want to overwatch too many people because there's a chance they'll hit and kill them all. That's a good point, actually. But, you know, we don't. It's not mandatory that we capture them in this mission. We just have to do it before the plot can continue. Ah. Oh. Oh, still, you know. Better to get it done. Like taking out the garbage, you know. Abducting an alien. Yeah, and it's good to capture them alive because you do get, like, benefits, benefits from it. All right, lads, let's be Avenue. That is the street you uh -huh. now live on. I think I heard uh. Yep, here they come. Don't kill him. Or maybe just kill one of them. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't, -choo! Didn't think that would hit at that distance. Yeah, like... Props on the initiative, but that was probably not... Oh. Oh, God damn it! Oh, bum cakes. <laughs> bum cakes. I fucking hate poison. I hate stuff. Oh, well, someone's fucked. Oh, bleeding vaginas. Is that you? No. Nah. No, thank God. I'm over here. How do you. Okay, you need med packs. Do med packs have an AoE? Like, do you spray them and, like, people around you get kind of healed, or is nope. that just. You can only heal one. I'd maybe go behind, like. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna dash, I'd. Dash to the left of- yeah, there. Not there, because- is that gonna protect you? Yeah, it's blue. If it's red, you're out of cover. Oh, so that if actually blue, tells it you it relative to the enemies you're, you're interacting with? Yes. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. All, all the enemies that are there. Just, I thought it just, just meant the direction that they were facing. It's just red if it turns out you're-, you're Oh, bugger. Bloody hell, we woke up another two. Yeah. God knows how. They were all in well, there. Yeah, they're wearing glasses, they can see you really well. This would be so much easier if it was my other game. Why? Because I'd have a whole bunch of mind control guys. Oh, okay. So if you were really far further through the game, yeah. had the good shit. Like, towards the end, just waiting to level up my 
mind powers enough to be able to get to the last bit of the game, which is taking a stupid long time. I mean, it's getting comical now. Just start a mission, like, get the most powerful enemies, mind control two of them. They all blow each other up. I eat chips. <laughs> yeah, I better kill some of these ones. Yeah, like this, you know. I maybe kill the one, the grenade, the ones closest. And we got some backups. So if they stay around there, then I can just run over and arc throw the next turn, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, do we have anyone who can do that pinning down business? Suppression? Yeah, that's it. No, I always go double rockets. Or shredder rockets, rather. Yeah, so do I. Oh well. Now we've learned. Still, we can guarantee a hit on that guy. Um, I mean, look, they're gonna come to you. Like, d does the AI modify if it knows you're trying to, like, abduct them? No. Well, yeah, you know, those guys I mean, are... they'll move if we destroy their cover. Well, yeah, but I mean, the other two in the ship. Like, they're gonna, you know, I, I don't think you're gonna be stuck for getting nearer to them, really. Well, let's get this jag balls somewhere. Out of the fart gas. And into the light. There, that looks out of the fart gas. Uh, well, we've got running gunner. Um, uh, I mean, I'd... If you want to get rid of some to make catching the last one easier, I'd get rid of those front two. I I mean, unless yeah, you really I'm, believe you can rush one down and, like, fucking... I'm zap. leaning in that direction, yes. Now we know we've got all those lads to choose from. Yeah, we have a selection. We have a range. It's like a... Team and uh, Cadbury roses, but like creepy this grenade kids. also has a range. It has a short range. Get them there. Yeah, I don't want to destroy that nice cover there as well, because I'm probably going to want to use that. Yeah. Eat it, you mutant John Lennon's. Har har! Oh bugger! It destroyed it anyway. And left poison gas everywhere. Double fun. Double fun on toast. Does suckers. the fart gas expire after a round or two? Like, yeah, next round I think. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not so bad then. Because I've seen some, like I've seen the snakes explode in XCOM 2, but I. Kepia doesn't have squad sight. Not on anyone. Okay. Damn it, Kepia! Wait, did you get poisoned? Oh you? bloody hell! Well, that ain't chode. Okay, don't run through fart. I love a game where, like, creepy skinny dudes can crop dust you. It's like going to Games Workshop. I won't take them too close to the fart. Oh, apparently not. Nah. Can you, like... I suppose you can. Like, decide where they run so they don't touch fart. Um... You know what? This is a great idea. I'm gonna smoke bomb us all. Because we know that we're there, we just don't want to get hit by them. That would be nice. Yeah. That's using the noodle. You can overwatch. Ah, oh, where'd those dudes go? That weird smoke just showed up and they all vanished. Can't overwatch with a sniper rifle on the second turn. Fuck bullshit! Why do you think the game's reviews are afraid to award low scores? That's from Piconix. Are they afraid? I thought it was just a habit, like, you know, average what the fuckity fuck. That's the thing. Who was that? That is the, the core of the ship. Oh. Okay. It's usually the last thing you kill, because it hangs around the center of the flying saucer. Yeah. Alright, I think you're Mara. Because, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I... I oh, for God's sake, <laughs> what's the point of even putting a smoke bomb down? <laughs> All that purple. It's fun. And you're poisoned now. <laughs> this is... And that guy's poisoned. This is not going... No. This... Tremendously. I don't think it's going bad yet, but it's... Alright, I'm gonna stand here. If I can't arc throw that guy from there, I'm gonna write this off as a wash. <laughs> and I can't. <sighs> Maybe scooch him to some cover then? Like, to the right... To, yeah, like there. Well, yeah, because I mean, yeah, we could probably keep. Uh, some cunt. You missed and destroyed your mate's cover. Ha ha. 
suck a fuck. Because, like, for ages, I think, like, 7 or 8 has been sort of right. average, which I'm is weird. It. Really, 5 should be average. 10s just, like, should be incredibly rare. Right, um, let's, uh, turn the situation around a little. I don't know, it's probably too small, isn't it? Fuck it. Should I run in? Has it been a... Boom, boom! Well, that guy's probably gonna die. Did we happen to see where the other that guy was? Um... Is it just him? I, I think it's those two, I think they both ran over. Hopefully. Fuck it. Let's rock some roll. I don't know. Largely, I think, like, review scores are sort of pointless. Well, yes. I mean, it used to be the case, I don't know if it still is, that there was a sense of publishers <laughs> pressuring reviewers for good scores. I think that... Well, haven't publishers tied bonuses to Metacritic? Well, I... Yeah, some of them. I blame Metacritic for a lot of this. Well, I blame... The, what publisher would do that, you fucking idiots? Metacritic has sort of standardised uh, scores with the... 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, or 10 out of 10 scale. Mm. That's that's why I don't really give scores, because they're nothing but trouble scores. If you give games. something a low score, everyone will go, why did you give this score a higher score than this game that you seem to like more? Well, I say on that, there's, you know, an element of clickbaitiness. Just give it a 5 and watch people flip their shit. Dashing. Why are you dashing, Kebs? So, if I can kill this guy, we can just, I can arc throw. Fuck knuckle to go. I can arc throw the other lad. There we go. Kebe, 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 mate. Kebe's my boy. Fucking Curtly Ambrose are shooting cunts from a distance. Well, we don't want to Overwatch because they might kill that. Yeah, guy. let's just. Can Crowshaw? Did you move him or something? Like, yeah, he... his his turn's over. Oh. So. I might just keep these guys... Let me get everyone not healthy to... Yeah, hunker. Hunker, hunker. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> you, but you struggle in vain, you asshole. Uh, I'm gonna... Ooh, one damage a turn. How could I possibly survive this? This is exactly like working at Rosie's. I get vomited on by some poisonous looking gimp who wears sunglasses at night, and then we catch him and take him away. Right. Eat it, sucker. Well, we lost one guy. That's still good, though. It's good oh, that that you? person died. I didn't even see you. Yeah, we you? lost Right. I think Right was our rookie, so I'm not too bothered. Fuck him, then. Fodder. More fodder for the machine. Turn the wheel. Or it might have been our assault guy, actually. Guess we'll find out now. That's up. Oh, yeah. It was the assault guy. Oh, I actually... I didn't see her die. But we've got a new sniper. That was exactly what I wanted to happen. Alright. And a new... Lieutenant Heavy. Aziz. Up in the world again. Ugh, fuck that. There's not that many robotic enemies. Mm -hmm. Rapid reaction, I think. And we lost someone. Oh, our, our first KIA. Uh, always remember your first. I know it wasn't easy, but this could really be a right. In our research. Not only can now, someone texted me using the actual phone to, like, someone I know, so it wasn't strange. Uh, to tell me that you put the fucking power thing in the wrong spot or some shit. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> I've, I know now. <laughs> can we change? Oh, we can. Oh, we can remove it. So that's not so bad. If we remove it, will the steam still be there? Let's find out. Let's, let's take find this. Out. No, let's fucking risk. Yes. Yes. Shit, yeah. It was still there. Now we can thermo it up in eight days. Fuck yeah. Lucky we had excess power, eh? Fantastic. Are we building satellites? Yes, we are. We've got two Probably. on. We've got two on the go. Yeah, like I got a text out of the blue from like a friend of mine. I was just like, Yes, there was oh, a special. What the fuck I was like, huh? There was a special thread on the uh, Reddit, oh, which was, was uh, the generator anger hour. <laughs> Good to know those people have productive ways to spend their time. Yeah, we're still waiting on that new uplink, aren't we? If you want to do something, Photoshop Yahtzee's face onto funny things. Uh, yes. Something to chuckle at, you bastards. We're searching beam weapons and. Scan. Oh, hang on. 
We might be able to buy some upgrades for our soldiers. Do you think Undertale will begin to spawn wannabe games like Minecraft and Call of Duty did from McElroy, a.k.a. Stitch? See, it's rapid recovery I wanted, but we just used all our money. Shit lips. Because we, we took some uh, hits in that one. Yeah. Ah, five days Kebe. and seven days, bloody hell. Five days, a kebe. I'm surprised Corporal Benjamin Crochaw wasn't injured. We well, oh, only well. got vomited on. It's early which... enough in the game, I'm not too bothered. No, you got a wet nap out, you're more or less okay. Like, that's those po that poison pile shit, that can be beat by, like, KFC. Huh. Japan wants scopes. Okay. We can get some extra engineers for it. Yeah, why not? And they build instantly, so might as well see if we can build two, build them two scopes. Uh... Oh, I should think so. We can do it. We Help. have the technology. Help's on the way, Japan-san. They just want scopes so they can see panties from a distance. Of course they do. <sighs> Healthy nips. So do you think? Do I think Undertale will begin to spawn one of your games? Well, it's. Uh, I think the flag has been flying for retro pixel art for a while. I was gonna now. say like Undertale came quite late into the sort of. Yeah. Like, cause Lisa came out before Undertale. Yeah. Uh, do you want to say Undertale was inspired by Lisa? No. Because they both share the really, common ancestry like... of Earthbound. Yeah. I don't know. I think what if Undertale. So Undertale's more Ness and Lisa's more SNES. See, Undertale's the thing about Undertale's benefit is that its its main benefit is writing. It's very well written, and it's not something that can be easily ripped off to create a trend. God, wouldn't it be nice if excellent writing was easy to rip off? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, it's easy to rip off Minecraft. Nah. I mean, that's just procedural. It's easy to rip off Call of Duty. That's just a just game. shoot yeah, shoot the terrorists. <laughs> But you can't rip off something. You can't. You can't um, do half-assed rip-offs of quality. Is the thing. Because that's the thing that characterizes quality. Just make something and put a bit of passion oh, into bugger. it. I was hoping for some beam weapons before this. Titty bum. Do we have to do it straight away? Can we scan a little bit? Oh no, we're just now. Oh, but Argentina's in the yellow, so we'd be well advised to go there. Sydney. That's just some cunt passed out. He's fine. Yeah, look at that. Oh, don't need that bullshit. Ooh, we'll get a sergeant if we do that one. Sergeant? Nah. Oh, probably best uh... It's always good to get pretty much anything at this stage in the game. And very difficult means more experience for our boys. And we, you know... And girls. And it's yellow, so... Can... Alright, well we didn't have a choice in the matter. We're bringing Rookie Deng along. <laughs> Deng! And, we're getting... and both our support guys are coming because we need to be pulling our weight. Since we've got some guys in the sick bay. Alright. And so we'll be uh, trying out our new sniper, <laughs> Walsh, who isn't Kebby. So she's got some big shoes to fill. Some fucking jazz clown shoes you've got to be snuggling. That's the shoe that the old lady who lived in one lived in. That's the size of that fucking shoe you got to fucking fill. Aziz and Kebby in the sick bay. How will we get by? <sighs> That's Missing a... you already. Kebby. Bring it on Zideng. I think I pronounced that right. G. It's hard. Alright, are we looking forward to our new mission name? Yes. What's it gonna be? Slippery nipples. Because I've, I've had Chinese friends who use like Western names, and I'm like, you know, that, that doesn't seem fair. I should learn how to pronounce your name. And they go, yeah, but look, it's really hard, because... <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's really hard, because like... That's you know, an apposite one. Mandarin uses sort of entire vocal, you know, or phonemes that, like the Westerns just can't really pronounce. And I gave it a try, and it was a fucking debacle. All right, Yahtzee and Gabe, together again. We are the Hammersmith Hardmen. Yeah. Dinsdale. Two supports and a rookie on one mission. This will no, be fine. No heavies. It's very difficult, but it'll be fine. Uh, not much no over there. No worries. Uh, not much over there. So it looks like a straight shot through this building. What games would you put in the Memorial Museum of Video Games? In whose memorial? Yeah, that's my question. <laughs> I mean, is this after video games have died? died yeah. This is after the XCOMs have taken over. Oh. What would sections of the museum... What Mustn't would sections of the, the museum would be there? Whose name would be on the commemorative plaque? Oh, okay. Jake P. Frank. <laughs> Cliffy, uh, Cliffy B. <laughs> the Yahtzee Crowshaw Memorial Museum of Video Games. Well, I've got to send my inheritance money somewhere, and I'll probably... Yeah, you're not going to have kids. Well, I might. Well, I'll probably... Ooh, there's a change in the old statement. Well, I've learned... Ooh. I've learned as Ooh. I've grown older to never as say never. matured. 
one starts feeling the yearning in his loins for a second generation that you can impart your wisdom to and share your video why game you, collection with. I don't know why you are taking this with what can only describe as erotic pleasure. It's not erotic. It's more glee. This is absolute because you were fucking so edge lord against having kids, and now, and especially like combine that with the fact that you know you're going to be like you know, shooting off overseas to like visit the missus, not exclusively, but you know, there's a side bonus there. Um, it's just, it's an amusing change. It's fun watching you change because you do it very begrudgingly and slowly. Okay then. So that's that's a big one. You've gone. You've been very anti having well, kids in past records. Like admit that. Admit you've you've been you've had a fairly anti. I don't want kids. You'll live on. Through well, your work. getting back on topic. Nazi's penis is the topic. What would I put in the Memorial Museum of the Games? Um, probably my games of the year for each year. So the games you made each year. No, so <laughs> I think we're talking about games generally. <laughs> I'm yeah. having the fun. The fun. Never yeah. heard of it. I've read about it on the internet. Um, I don't know. At what point is this museum being put together? In the future. See, the thing is, video games are quite a spectrum these days. Yeah. I mean, when you when you do an art exhibition, it's not an exhibition of all art. That would take too long. I noticed this when I went to. Um, Got to be a specific movement. Yeah. Well, I went to Game On in Melbourne back in. Oh yeah, I've been I've been to that. Oh. Yeah, this was this was the first one. Hey, we've got floaters. What the? Not the kind you're thinking of. Um, and I, I really sort of noticed that like, there was a brief sort of a, there was an attempt at a chronology, and then it kind of went to shit. And I think that yeah, it as an art form grows and develops more and more genres and subgenres, it becomes really hard to. I did some stuff for the game on exhibition. Which one? In Melbourne. Yeah, over which year? Don't they have them annually now? I don't know, do they? Well, I've seen well, more than one quite year. a few years back. Yeah, like I, I... I did a talk once. i got to remember what year this was. I think it was 2008. Okay, I don't think floaters have, like, grenades and area effects stuff like the Thin Men do, so... I'm not too what bothered the, about... Is it just a movement speed thing? Anywhere in particular you'd like to be, Mr. Morton? Wherever's most supportive. That's not a great position you're in, if I'm honest. Not a, maybe there... I mean, what's what's the goal for this one? Just kill everybody? Yep. That's nice and easy. That old kill everyone fun. Uh, maybe behind the car? Wait. And shift me if it explodes. Was that a dash? I didn't intend it to be. Jesus this fuck. What kind of movement do I have? This is bullshit. Not very good movement. I guess that highlights the benefit. That. Hmm, should I, do a, should I throw a smoke out? Just in case. At this point, like, this is kind of early. I mean, I don't know. What kind of like damage do floaters do? Well... If you leave one in the toilet when your girlfriend's over, <laughs> quite a lot. But Why would you leave one in the toilet at all? But if <laughs> I would say it's a good, to talk to? I think it's a good rule of thumb. If you're leaving any aliens with turns going, and you're in a position to smoke yourself, probably a good thing to do. Mm. I always worry well, about using my, my 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 goodie early, and then. Well, smoke bombs aren't that great. Oh, okay, I haven't really, I haven't used them at all in. Uh, I'm gonna, two, so. I'm gonna overwatch you, lads. Yeah, because uh, they look eager. They look like the kind of fellas that are going to come in, you know, on the... Whoa, yeah, they, are, they are quite an eager bunch. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, fiddlesticks. That's not, that's not optimal. Well, they don't take cover, floaters. That's the benefit of fighting them. All right, what was that there? Oh, shit, there's, there's some over there. Oh, this is... This is kind of painful to watch, actually. That's a lot of misses. Oh, hey, we got... Oh, we did one damage. Ooh. Okay, I'm questioning your tactics there, Mr. Floater. Let's this... end my turn in the middle of all the enemies. Oh, so he doesn't get another action after that. Well, no. Oh, oh that good. guy suppressed someone, though. Help, I'm being suppressed. Yes. The, uh... Yeah, so you can just turn around and wail on that guy. That... Ooh. Why is there any... Huh? Why is that... Can you not shoot at him? Oh, he's suppressed. Uh, these guys aren't, though. Oh, fucking Seven... get it in ya. 73 to hit. Do we want to move first? You're in the smoke still. I think maybe... Like... Uh, for now. 73 is... 73 is good. I mean, that takes it. I mean, if you don't want to, fucking you know, get up in his face and fucking rub it in there. 
Hang on. We got it. That's the guy with an arc throw. That's me. That's arc thrower me. Did you? We might be able to take someone alive. Uh, oh yeah, because that gives us yeah. Let me scooch up on him and arc throw the cunt. I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna save first, like the scumbag <laughs> that I am. You, you filthy, disgusting prick. I don't know if it's wise to start arc throwing before we've killed them all but one. Uh, well, what isn't he down then? Does he? Can he wake up? From arc throwing? Nope. Oh, well, fuck him then. Was, you know. Well, it's just, if we use an arc throw him, we also can't use that soldier to try to shoot any of the other guys. Don't you only have the arc thrower, though? <laughs> no, I got, that's just my side oh. thing. So wait, got a gun. so are you tethered to him after you arc throw him? No. So you can just only arc throw and that's it? You, you can't shoot at all after... No, if I move and arc throw him, that will end the turn. Oh, end the turn. Well, yeah. That's... End the turn for that guy. Isn't that a good thing, though? He'll be arc thrown? Like, then he's down? That's that's that guy dealt with? Oh, all right. I mean, I don't know it's what the problem here is. You know more about this than I do, so I'm trying to work out what the actual... What what, what, what the hell happened there? I don't know. I'm sure I didn't dash there. <laughs> something... Something... Is it maybe because there's a guy trying to, like, suppress you? Are you suppressed? No, he's not suppressing me. He's suppressing oh, the okay. other guy. Oh, it is. A, it was a dash. Didn't, oh. didn't, I got uh, confused. Maybe that little blue point there. Hmm. The left. Go there... Can you go over there? Then I'm... Then I'm out of cover. Oh well, we saved. Fuck it. Eat it! Kabzzt. Bustin' makes me feel good! Right. Alright, well that, that, that's that can't dealt with. Now, we should probably deal with this lad who's trying to suppress us. Yeah. So that the guy who's being suppressed can have a go. He's using his triggering to suppress us. Uh, who's the one who's not being suppressed? The sniper's being suppressed. That's the. That's exactly the one we don't want being suppressed. Uh, using ah. tactics. Ah, ha, ha, it's ha, not ha, fair. Ha. We have a run and gun man. Oh. Radical. Uh, but, Will that reach? But I want to. I want to grenade him. Is the thing. Ah. But there's no. Just... There's no cover within single. Oh well, yeah, behind those tables there. Hmm, can I get a damn grenade from that distance? I reckon. Yeah, I reckon you can get a fucking grenade from that distance. But that exposes us to these guys. Well, you know, there's no perfect... If there was just a perfect solution to all these problems, it wouldn't be a game. That's loser talk. Because I don't think a grenade will hit both of those guys. No, they definitely won't. Okay, I am going to... Run and gun you. All the way up to there. Open fire. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, woke up the kids. That's what happens. Oh, God. Forever to get them back to sleep. Now I'm going to shoot you. Oh, fuck yeah. 81. Get fucked. Why did you. Did <laughs> did I just break a window for no yeah, reason? Yeah. Just to, Fuck you, window. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> There's going to be a disciplinary procedure at the end of this, McDonald. I want you to know that. That's we've discussed this before. <sighs> right, I really need to unsuppress my sniper. What is your opinion on the Roads Must Fall movement, which has sprung up in South Africa and more recently Oxford, as well as the way in which the University of New South Wales has started to teach that Captain James Cook invaded Australia rather than discovered? From Elsie Cortez. Um, I don't know anything about the Roads Must Fall movement. Well, that was the guys who wanted the statue of Cecil Rhodes uh, down. Oh. In, uh, I think it's in Oxford University, because uh, Rhodes was a big colonialist. This is like, is, so what? Yeah, I mean, uh, so about, like, this, you're f focusing on trivial little elements of language as opposed to doing anything. You meaningless little. Well, shits. I think their issue is that there is a statue glorifying the dude. Well, he's glorifying other elements about him. It's like just so. It's like when people complained about winning a bust of um, H.P. Lovecraft oh, yeah. for like writing. It's like he was a racist. Excellent. I would love to win the bust of somebody who would have hated me as an award. I hope it- I hope they haunt that. I hope they're stuck having to like fucking watch me just like wander around and, you know, be successful in spite of their hate. Like, that'd be fucking hilarious to me. Cook didn't invade. 
You could argue there was an invasion later, but Cook was not an invasion. And also, if you're going to be really fucking pissant technical about it, invasions, because there was no Australia, there were 200 separate Aboriginal nations. Well, you know, I if you're going to call them nations. I have a feeling I'm going to end up relating this, Dave. So. Oh, yeah, I think you're doing all right. No, I'm doing, no, I'm doing horribly and I'm going to die. Are you sure? Yes. What makes you say that? You'll, si you'll find out. Oh, okay. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, I got something to look forward to. Uh, One fail, sure. Go, Gabe. Squat run fucking two inches in support. What fucking value? Like, really? What do I do as a support? Can I heal? Can we make me a healer? That might be fucking something remotely useful. Well, it you could, but uh, it would be very limited. You'd have a first aid kit, and then you use that, and then what use are you? Right, I'm gonna run out despite being suppressed. Banzai! Oh, we missed. Well, so much for that. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, because suppression in XCOM 2 is not, like, fucking golden hit. Now <sighs> I can only pistol. Did, did we catch where those sectoids were? We might uh, be yeah, I think I threw one there. They, they scooted out the back door. Oh, yeah. They were making burgers. Alright, I guess I'll pistol overwatch and hope for the best. Let's hope they all miss. That, you know. With Australia, there's always the weird thing of, like, Yay, most of the people invading missed. Australia for, at first didn't want to be here. <laughs> They'd have happily gone home. Well, no. I mean, honestly, a uh, lot of the uh, a lot uh, of the issues uh. with between white and indigenous Australia come like sort of more after the fact when they were treated like absolute shit, even by whitey's own rules. Like people did work and didn't what? get paid for it. What's that guy doing? Did he just like teleport yeah, right te in front of like gun range again? He teleported six feet. Hey, I thought we'd already. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. off! They're off again! Are these the same guys or different Yeah, they're ones? the same guys. They just showed up to do a Power Ranger pose and then they ran away. I'm not convinced. I think if it were the same guys, we wouldn't have seen that animation I again. I really believe it was the same guys, because they came from where the other guys had hidden themselves. I need someone near there with a grenade, which will be used for the obvious purpose. Scoot there and throw a grenade. You can do it. Go, Billy. No, 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 no. What does changing the word do? Bam. You're invaded. Sweet. Cool. Now what? Fucking rad. Well, it only takes three off the floater. Oh, well, the car may, but may blow, though. Well, it wouldn't hurt him at that distance. Hey, maybe you were right about the extra little dudes. Well, yes. I usually am about everything. Says Mr. I'm gonna reload this because it's <laughs> all is lost. Well, I could still be right there. I believe you've got this. I, I, I think you're okay. I think you're good. If we can shotgun this guy, yeah, we're doing all right. Free and easy. I don't know. I think ultimately a lot of these little quests are just like if you want to meaningfully make a difference in like someone's life who you think is oppressed, do something that actually helps them. Well, quite. I mean, this is ooh, hundred. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a hundred hit there. Now worries me. Fucking Mike. have it. Oh, well, this is like. Campaigning done by people who live in countries where things are pretty much all right. And in situations where things are pretty much all right. Like, if you want to do something meaningful, start a fucking, like, a volunteer, um, childcare thing. Get, yeah. get it registered by the government. But if you look after, if you can make it so someone's got, like, free access to, uh, childcare, they can really make significant improvements in their life. Build a school. I mean, I did, like, sort of volunteer, or not volunteer, yes. but, like, I did... Tutoring stuff for like um, a group that uh... you missed you doing us proud. Oh, I actually shot something. Yes, you did. Well done. Fuck me. All right. Now let's worthy see. worthy of your name. Let's see if our rookie Ding can make a name for himself. Twenty-five. Again, fuck that. Yeah, that's not good. And again, you want to be careful of like the uh, poor little well native take attitude. Because again, like the you know the you missed the tutoring thing that I did for like you know indigenous youth. I got put with a girl who, A, mostly got like, you know, the lowest grades she got were B's. B, her, both her parents worked. She was more middle class than I was growing up. Literally the conversation we had was, why do I have you? I don't know. You just have a big pet lunk because you're technically classed as indigenous. 
Even though you don't need me. I mean, you don't need any help. We just sat around and talked about what you'd like to do at uni. Well, Deng's in trouble. So, I mean, like, you know, be careful making all of your little quests ethnically based, because not... And we're out of grenades. Yeah, I mean... Um, I mean it, was, it was condescending to her. Yeah, I mean, when so you're I, doing that, you're, you know, you're um, doing applied generalization, aren't you? Yeah, that's a bad thought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was two groups of Yeah, that really was. They're just chilling out together. Why did you ever doubt me? Well, because so, they literally this... sprung over from the exact same spot that those little buggers ran. So I was just like, sometimes so, you, maybe maybe you can get a double activation of the little cutscene. So this is our last guy with grenades. So let's hope this... Yeah, you can... Yes. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. This is you. This you. you, you I can, can do, do it. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah! And there was one we couldn't see. Oh, fuck yeah. I think that's everyone, isn't it? it? Is. Oh, I guess not. Uh, Shit. Oh, well. There's a lot of cunts here. It's a party. Well, it is a very difficult mission. I think we've been doing rather fucking well. You got pessimistic. I don't know why. Okay, explain to me why you thought we were going to lose at that time. Because we were flanked on both sides, and we were, we'd spawned, and having been flanked on both sides, we spawned three more guys. Uh, you need to have more faith in yourself, Kershaw. I need to reload this shotgun at some point. What do you two want to be remembered as? A, a games journalist, an author, a comedian, an educator, etc. from the Ace of Nades. Uh, yep, all of them. Thanks. Cool. Well, not an educator. Well, maybe an educator in spirit. In spirit. Yes. I teach people about games that are crap. You should do more than I that. Guess you, should, like, you, should, uh, you should write, you should get some more long form. I guess if, if there was limited space on the tombstone, I would like to be remembered as... They'll just be your best compound swear under your name. A writer. I, I am Yahtzee Croshaw, the the famous writer. <laughs> because that covers pretty much everything I do, really. You need to do your culture series. That's you need Some to. of my writing is published in books. Some of it I read aloud very fast into a mic and animate, strangely. Um... Dings on half health. So I don't want to take too many risks. You can stack up behind this other person. And there can't be that much left to, do, to can you deal get on the roof? with. Is there, is there a roof still? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Get on the roof, but... Uh, do we have a sniper we can pop up there? Well, yes. Grace Walsh. Oh, yeah. Where's Grace? We'll put her on the roof, because then we've got, you know, all the advantages that that comes with. Well, if we do that, we might spot the remaining enemy. Well, wouldn't that be useful? Well, we can spot them, but we wouldn't be able to take an action against them. Well, I suppose we can at least see where they are. Yeah, because... All right, shinny up that drain pipe, Grace Walsh. Shimmy, shimmy. Just to pretend the aliens are the British. I guess they're not anywhere around here. I guess they're, maybe they're in that room? I had the idea that the Ghostbusters would be a good setting for an XCOM-style game. What setting mm. would you have XCOM gameplay and story from Shadow Deer 13? Interesting thought. I mean, you made that reference when we would arc through that guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Ghostbusters would actually really work with this. Um, because the difference is that uh, in XCOM we got the backing of the whole world, and Ghostbusters, no one believes them and thinks they're mad. So that might Which be an doesn't make sense, really. That might be an interesting thing to work with. I'd we'll be surprised how much people will try to convince themselves that what they see wasn't real. Yeah. I, you know, look, I'm a skeptic, but again, if I actually saw a Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man and woke up the next day and there was, like, all the damage and stuff, either someone was... There he ah, is. Either someone was pulling off the most amazing prank in the universe, I guess, which, by uh, that stage, is the least likely option. I guess a bit of wall fell down because of that fire. I just feel sorry for that one. It's just been crazy hiding behind a stove and a fucking KFC. What? Two? <laughs> oh. Dang, you are okay. not impressing, I gotta say. Alright, well, uh... I run down there and pistol him. I guess. Yeah, just jump off that roof, you'll be fine. Um... Snap. Uh... Alright, let's use our little puny little pea shooter. 75% chance to hit. There we go. Right. 
we have sorted out Argentina. Now nothing bad ever will ever happen there again. Nope, that's fine. Just salute Tito and leave. Was it Tito? I'm beginning my dictators mixed up. Uh, Ava Peron? She wasn't a dictator. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Oh, suck it up, Grace Walsh. <laughs> you're my own, you're one of Fucking my new Kevin snipers as well. Oh, the usual choice. Fucking lackadaisical Irish. Squad side it is. Um, hey, I'm up great. I went up, and so did you. All right. <laughs> Zizang didn't kill anyone. What a loser. Fucking suck. Oh. We can use the med kit three times. Well, I mean, we, you know... Or one additional use of smoke grenade. Well, I mean, you like smoke grenade, so you should use smoke grenade and you can make me a healer. Because I figure that'll be, like, the closest my character's gonna get to useful in this. As you wish. Yeah. And I'm good at that. I'm good at, like, you know, like, I can battle motivate and shit. Okay. I always try to make my assault guys lightning reflexes, if when I can. And what that does is, if you know the aliens have overwatched you, make your assault guy move first and they waste the overwatch. Ha ha. That's pretty good. What's the other one do? It's just that he's present extra critical chance when you're adjacent to things, but you're so rarely yeah, adjacent fucking, to things. Yeah, that's... That is that uh, useless in comparison. It's not even funny. It's the squad site choice again. Hey, you got a nickname. You're Padre. Excellent. <laughs> I guess that fits. Yeah, yeah you can be the medic now. Oh! Wait, what was my nickname? Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm You're drinking whis a beer. I'm whiskey. Having a beer as we speak. What's the meanest thing you did as a kid? I like that. Whiskey. I'm whiskey crucial. Bumfucker 74. Bumfucker spelt with two Ks. Which amuses me. Now, I was, a, I was a good boy growing up. I just wanted to be left alone. So I thought maybe you'd have a more colourful story for this one. Um, oh, shit, yeah. So I was beat up by, like, fucking, you know, degenerative hillbillies an awful lot. Yes. And that has a way of just sort of making you crawl. And what I liked in physical strength... Oh, blimey. Alright, shit's getting a bit fucky. Yeah, that's because we didn't do the abduction missions in the other areas. Save Australia. Um, We're gonna need them satellites. I mean, I've actively made fun of children for being, like, physically abused who I know were physically abused. Well, we were tougher in those days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, ha, ha, like, your like, dad beats you. Ha, yeah, like ha. literally that, like the shit, shit, like along those lines. Um, all right, we can construct. You're illiterate. <laughs> you smell like poo all the time, and that was that person. Now, really one good. of the first things we want to do when now that we can build laser weapons. Oh fuck yeah! That is sounds build rad. laser pistols for our snipers because they is... use their pistols quite a lot. Okay, apparently we have to build each one to order. We don't just get. So these are the yeah. So, and these are the priorities. We've got to interrogate these two lads. Let's interrogate the thin man. We might actually get a conversation out of him. Alrighty. Weird mutant John Lennon motherfucker. Yes, let's all admire our new zoo exhibit. Whip out my dick and start waving it at him. Snappy sunglasses. Wom 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 wom. Yeah. The implication is we do rather horrible things to them during the interrogation process. Who is the real monster? Uh, yep, that's still building, that's still building. And we want some shit. Plenty of alloys, bit of cash to spread around. I am going to manufacture... Um, we've only got one sniper on the go usually. So we'll just stick with one for now. Just using the noodle. Laser rifles will probably be pretty valuable. Yeah, you want to manufacture a couple of these. Oh, poo shits. Oh, that's the thing. Like, a lot of the things in, you know, in Goodna were only... just, just, like, you couldn't make fun of a kid in Goodna without doing something just horribly depressing. Did you see that picture of the alien on the target? <laughs> yeah. That was an original graphic from the original XCOM. Yeah. Just to put the cute little reference in. Uh, oh, we just need money. It's probably some shit we can sell in the grey market to make yeah. some more. But, I mean, essentially, if you pointed out... Ah, damaged stuff. We're in the money. Sweet. Hold on, my honey. If you pointed out anything Let's about people's lives in this place, like, around. then you're being cruel. <laughs> I, feel, I know sectoid corpses have some use, but I forget what it is. Yeah, I learned this the hard way playing XCOM 2. I was like, oh, corpses, I've already fucking examined them, what do I need them for? And then it's like, oh, yeah. fucking some weapons and armor and shit, you need corpses. Uh, I didn't realize that. Right, now, it's only our support guys and our rookies that use rifles. Oh, really? 
So uh, let's just get the, 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 the assault, no, assault use shotguns. That's right, because because there are people who use assault rifles in two, and they get the sword. But that class isn't in this. So. No, there's no uh, swords in enemy unknown. No melee combat at all. I don't think. Pfft. Pfft, I say that was a strange noise you just made. No swords. What do you think should happen to whoever directs a movie adaptation of Half Life from what Net a, Mover Satan? What a strange question. Yeah, it's, the, it's like they want us to say thrown in prison. <laughs> I don't know, I'd like them to Tickled. have a fruitful life and uh, leave the world a little bit better than the one they entered. Um, I want him to get caught in some ridiculous Rube Goldberg machine like that Donald Duck cartoon where he's a minor. I don't know, I don't think it works as a film concept because it centers around the silent protagonist and all that. Maybe what you could do is maybe do a like a side story as a film, build a sort of universe. Something in the universe, yeah. yeah. Like, like maybe something about Alex before she met him or some shit. I think there's quite a few fan-made projects along those lines. You could do it like that hardcore Henry movie. Okay. Yeah, someone linked me to that. That was um, the film, the action film shot entirely in first person. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Gimme K. I want to get a, I want to get that VR for it though. Someone give me a free HTC Vive. HTC Vive VR is the superior VR format and everyone should buy it. Do you have a PO box? Um, I'd like one for free. Do you have a PO box? No. Well, they can't send you anything, can I'll they? get a PO box. Just, you know, hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> Just get me a free one. I want one. There, we built a thermo generator. Are you happy? <sighs> Chili bum. Are you, have, have you all climbed down from your angry perches now? I just, no, they're back up there because we did something wrong. I was so angry, I just gobbed on Gabriel. Didn't even see it. You could have just let that one slide. Just oh, a well, just it's a on little, here somewhere. Just a tiny little pellet flew out. This is why I cough away from you. Well, so I don't, like, just flick. Well, I said You're going to cocoon me like the alien queen. So you want me to look away from you every time I talk now? <sighs> yes. You're just going to gob on me always. Well, I'm sorry for ruining your very fine clothes you wore. Given the recent-ish update of Just Cause 3 that added in a Dark Void-style jetpack, what do you think of games having too many features? Can you think of any examples where a fun feature is overall detrimental to the game? From ZGram33. Um... Getting the grappling hook in the end of, um, Dying Light. Like, because you get it kind of late, but then it just sort of... Well, it's, yeah, it's just it's really of... fun, like, it's probably the most fun part of Dying Light, but then most of the, the other stuff is pointless. Talking about game breakers, really, isn't it? It's like the chrysogram at Castlevania I was talking about last week. Apparently, yeah, someone told me that that is a fucking insanely rare drop. Yeah, I was lucky. But then I've played the game quite a few times. This is the first time I ever saw it. Sounds like chrysogram. Yeah, that's the joke I made last week, dude. Oh, did you? Yeah. Go and watch these back every once in a while, yeah. maybe, dude. I mean, how do you know I don't edit these to make you look like a ponce? You'd never if... find out. Yeah, but see... That just makes you look sad. Fair enough. <laughs> like I mean, that, if I did, put, <laughs> you already. If I did put that amount of work into it, yeah. Like, that's, oh hey, I don't worry about that really. Like, oh hey, new satellite. Sweet. Can we get the spice network? And the ta- satellite uplinks are ready. Oh, excellent. So now I can launch the Chinese satellites. Pokemon. And not a moment too soon. Oh yeah, does this calm down the fucking upset areas? Yeah, it takes two off, so we got to pick them carefully. It's gold, gold. Well, I mean, what happens if we lose one? Well, it goes on to there. And if we lose eight countries, then we fail. Oh, okay. Can we get them back once they go up to red? Nope. Oh, shit. If they go all the way up to red, we've got until the the next uh, meeting or whatever it is. How many satellites have we got? Oh. We've got, we got uh, three. three to spend oh, and three spaces for well, them. Well, fuck South Africa. Okay. So, eight, it doesn't get anything. 80 per month, 70 per month. Uh, maybe fuck Egypt then. God, why Jap- can't you Japan's all be more like France? Per month. Uh, Australia, you fucking cheapskates. What the fuck? Alright, we'll um, save Japan. Yeah, Japan looks good. Let's just stick one up in Japan. Alright, look, legit Australia, if you're gonna like lowball us like that, we're not, you know. Vroom. Yeah, yeah, we need interceptors. Sigh. I mean, I'd happily, I'd happily let Australia burn just to see Melbourne cry. We don't. We wouldn't need a new just interceptor. Just to lose its most livable city, Mark. We wouldn't need to a new interceptor if we put one in either of those. Feature overload. Um, there was a really good video by the creators of uh, Weapon Lord, which was a bizarrely good and insanely complicated fighting game for the SNES, where they put in way too much. 
like they, every character has different kinds of clashes and fucking parries and they have a good discussion about how like particularly with fighting games you can really overload them with features i propose we spread this around a bit we put one in africa and put one in reserve in case either of those go into the red all righty because we might get an alien abduction that could take it all down in one fell swoop. Huh. Um, um, yes. So we'll put, I'll put one in Egypt. Satellite launched. And uh, there we go. Huh. Everyone sleeps a little easier tonight. You know, the aliens could just have the middle of Australia and no one would really notice. Just take Darwin, no one cares. So we need one in Fuck Asia, because we just built one in Japan. Fucking trash hole. You can have Darwin, you can have Gimpy, no one cares about Gimpy. Have you been to Darwin then? Um, no. Well, how do you know it's a shithole then? Dude. It's just because <laughs> the media has told you. <laughs> because the that's media. what the media does. <laughs> the media and its anti Darwin bias. Yatsu Croshaw. You only ever hear of the bad Darwin. news, dude. Might be like a lovely place. Like how it's the broken jaw capital of the world. Might be a lovely place. Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain... So no, you take the shittiness of any place in Australia, and if you add isolation, you get, like, Omega-level shittiness. About the only things that'll change that are if we're a really rich area for some baffling reason. Um, oh, too many features. Uh, that reminds me of a game I recently finished, Shadow Warrior. Anime fighters. Shadow Warrior has a fuckload of weapons and upgrades and spells and stuff, and a lot of them are no use at all. I think most Flamethrowers are fucking useless. Mm. It's like it's like just blowing on a cigarette lighter. Well, it has no like nothing in a game. We're getting rushed by things, stuff with no hit stuns. Not exactly that helpful. Well, quite. Um, I think most of the fucking so many of the little plasmids in the Bioshock series. Yeah. Like tornado. And Earth Pound. Okay. It's like once you have like freeze and flamethrower or bees and shit. Now the new job is to arc throw one of those flying saucer core dudes we saw. Ooh. Which is a, bit, be a little bit trickier. It'll be a sticky wicket. Fighting, like in terms of fighting games, I go things like animes. Like maybe not Blast Blue, but the Guilty Gear series where it's just like. I mean, the, uh, the tutorial does a really good job of explaining them, but it goes on for fucking ever. I'm gonna this breaks this. Push these two buttons to do a fucking spectral parry. I was like, uh. I might do a bit of research and do another useful thing. Sounds good. Heavy lasers, which replaces miniguns for the heavies. Precision lasers, which replace sniper rifles, of course. Ooh, we or like our snipers. Carapace armor, which you can put on all the soldiers and improves their health. Better snipers. Mm hmm. Slightly what is more. the largest, toughest animal you think you could take on in a fight from I Master Saturday? I think I'm going to start on the carapace armor. Alright. What do you reckon you could take in a fight? Um, an attack dog. Alright. Because I know their secret. I know all you have to do is grab their forepaws and pull them apart. Mm. Compresses their chest, does their hearts in. Yeah, and they have no, like, much muscular structure to, like, hold it. Yeah. What's Yahtzee the Croshaw, dog killer. What's the other thing they say? They say to, um, to, um, you, you gotta control their jaws, mm. so give them your, like, off wrist, like, not the wrist you write with. Force your fist down. Just, just jam it down their throat, and then get them on their back and pull their forelegs apart. That's how you defeat attack dogs, fact fans. Because it's a bit, that's probably why they used pa attack dogs in, in packs. packs. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's the issue. That's the issue, yeah. You can't patiently do that to all of them, because you'll get bit in the bum. Right, well, let's take kick. this up to the next mission so we see what the name is for a laugh. Um, I've kind of wanted to fight, like, or just find myself in a position where I Oh, have to... Jesus! It's a medium! <laughs> um, fighting like an elephant seal. Because, I mean, that's one of those ones where, like, it's kind of like a Dark Souls boss. You know, it's really fucking big, and it'll take ages of just wailing on its face for it to stop. But, like, provided you stay out of its attacks, you're kind of okay. I'm not sure we'll manage this. It's a medium. Uh, how do we, where's the health Counter for the thing? Oh, there we go. Hey, all right. I don't know, because they're a mystery. Oh. They're mysterious That's ships. That's bullshit. Right, let's, uh... Like, I would like to see someone fucking fight an elephant. Hey, so. Aziz is back in action. Dang, what are you doing here? Yeah, You're shit. Fine. I think both our snipers are wounded. Ding dong, oh, no, the witch wait. is dead. We have Kebe! Yeah. We have Kebe! Kebe's back. 
Oh, we should probably train up a rookie though. Because uh, that's actually a good thing to do at this point because the rookie can hold the uh, laser rifle. How about Andrea? Because Deng's, Deng's had her shot. Yeah, they, they had their chance. Yeah. Right, so... Give them the... Load out with some laser yeah, anyone rifles. else that we can give shit to? Oh, does Kebe have his laser pistol? Not yet, that's what I was about to do. Alright. Laser pistol for Kebe. Pachoo! And nice, big laser rifle for me, for Whiskey Crowshaw. Oh, do I get one too? Oh, that's right, I'm, no, I'm having a nap. No, you're having a sleepy. Oh, I'm gonna go back to the barracks and crank it. Oh, uh, we need to... I don't mind if someone walks in, I'll finish. We need to arc throw the... Um, oh, that's right, the yeah. UFO core, if we can. I mean, it's not like there's gonna be any shortage of UFOs. So, no, I'd probably go out... I'd, I'd, I'd fight an elephant seal. But that's a marathon, that's not a sprint. You know, you gotta think about that. Are you sure? Because you did die, like, twice to the covetous demon in Dark Souls 2. Which is like an elephant seal. Yeah, but you know, this, All is, right. this is real life. I can, I, 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 I don't fat roll in real life. Mm, this is the real life. This is not just fantasy. Homo. Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. What day do you usually record on from Cloak and Dagger 42? Open your eyes, look up Saturday. to the sky. So we record Saturday. Then Yahtzee Kroshaw summons, what's it, Virginal Cockhole? Mm. Yep. We're off to explore the Virginal Cockhole. Mm. Next time on XCOM. Unspoiled urethra. So we opened this episode at the start of a UFO mission where we had to arc throw something <laughs> and next time in XCOM we will open with a UFO mission where we have to arc throw something Fucking but this time riveting. with laser rifles uh, Kebe, Kebe uh, and, An American chick and Whiskey Crowshaw whose name's Whiskey now he's called that because of his dick <laughs> it's limp noodly see you next time toodles